the kind of guns. Okay, so this is the Falcon Eyes F7 pocket light. It's a RGB pocket light that you can literally use for almost everything when you're lighting your videos or even your photos. Now, I do own a few pocket lights right now, but this one might actually be my favorite one. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all the reasons why the Falcon Eyes F7 is probably the best bargain and bang for your buck, especially if you're looking for all the features, but you're not willing to spend more than around $150. Let's take a look at it. So, the Falcon Ice Pocket Light comes in two different bundles. You basically get one bundle that goes for $139 and another bundle that goes for $149. The real differences between these two bundles is the inclusion of a diffusion material and a honeycomb material that basically helps you control your light spill so your light does not spill all over the place. Now to the unboxing. The box that this comes in is a very very nice white box, packaging is very very decent and when you open up the box, the first thing that you're greeted with is the light. Very high quality product and we're going to talk about that more in a moment. Next thing that you get is basically a pouch or a carry around pouch for the light which is also very very high quality and has a strap on the back. Next you have the mounting bracket. Now this mounting bracket is basically two headed. It's not bad but I do have some problems with it and we will talk about that a little more later on. Apart from the mounting bracket, you also get a charging cable, it's a USB-C to regular USB-A cable and it helps you charge the device very quickly. Next you get an odd shoe mount. This is just a regular odd shoe mount that you can use to mount this directly to the top of your camera or your cage or something. And besides that, you get a manual in the box and besides the manual, the final item that you get is a sticker that basically has all the effects on the back so you know exactly what the effects are and what order they are listed. Now you can literally just peel off the sticker and put it on the back of the light itself so that you can always have access to see what effects are next and so on but I don't want to do that and that's an option too. You can literally just carry this around in your carry around pouch. No problems. Taking a look at the device itself, you basically have the USB-C charging port on the top of the device. On the left of the device, you basically get all your controls, basically power on, power off and set button. You get the control buttons that's basically on a spring and you get the brightness adjustment so no matter what settings you're in or controlling the brightness adjustment works universally on the bottom of the device you basically get your mounting port to the left of the device there's nothing and on the back of the device you have the screen that displays all the settings that you're currently on you have this rgb wheel that you can use to control what colors of your RGB you're on basically there are numbers that tell you what position or location you are currently and you have a logo and some other random stuff written on the back. Moving on, turning on the device is quite simple. You basically hold down the power button for a couple of seconds and it comes on and my first impressions of this light especially when it was in basic white light was that it is very powerful. I actually do not see a situation where I'll be using this at 100% because of how much power it puts out. And speaking a little more about the dual color mode, you basically can use this light at around 2500K all the way up to 9000 Kelvin. Now of course, daylight is going to be around 5600K which is probably where you're going to be using this light the most but it's nice to know that you have the option to adjust color temperatures however the hell you want. Next, you basically have the RGB settings and in this mode you can basically use all the colors of the rainbow all the colors on the color wheel on the back of the device and you basically have a number guiding you on the back of the device so I think you're covered here. You basically use that function button, you push it once, you can adjust the colors, you push it again, you can adjust the saturation. Pretty straightforward. Now of course the very next thing is a special effect and I have to be honest there are way too many special effects on this thing. I doubt there's ever going to be a situation where I have to test or use every single one but for the sake of this video. I'm going to remind you that you do get a sticker that tells you every single effect that you get. You get so many different things, candle lights, ambulance, police, thunder, disco, party and so many many more. But I think the most beautiful part for this particular pocket light is it has a photo on the back on the indicator that basically tells you what effect you're using and you can basically just eye tell what effects you're currently on. Now one of the biggest standout effects for this particular pocket light is the fact that it has a magnet on the back of the device so you can basically just mount this to anything and by anything I basically mean a flat surface that's metallic. Now the sides are also a little magnetic but I wouldn't advise using them on the sides because you know it's a smaller surface area and the magnets on there are not as strong as on the back of the device itself. 
speaking of, this is actually a huge deal for me because I didn't really like the mounting bracket that was included with this device. I mean, it works, it's fine. It's just really not something I'll personally use because it feels a little flimsy when you're trying to adjust it. Both hands basically just come off and then they're dancing. I don't like that very much. And honestly, this is probably the only area that I feel like the Bowling P1 is a little better than this light. In every other area, the Falcon Heist is superior. And I don't say that lightly, the Falcon Heist is better built, more features, bigger, more powerful, and I absolutely love it. Oh, and for the entry price, it's actually slightly cheaper than the Bowling P1, which is nowhere near as powerful. Now, like I said during the beginning of the video, you basically get an honeycomb and a diffuser, and this is basically what they look like. The diffuser is on my right hand, and the honeycomb is on my left hand. When you install them, it's pretty straightforward as well. You basically use the rubber adjustment on the back to add them to the front of the device, and they basically stay. But this is a silicon material, so I feel like it is going to fail after some time, but that should be expected. You could probably modify this to work a little differently, but this is what you get. That said, the Onycomb does do a very good job of helping you control your light spill and direct your light the way that you want, and the diffuser also does a pretty good job of helping you diffuse your light. Look, the bottom line is for everything that you get with the Filmmaker kit of this particular pocket light, it's an insane bargain and value for money, especially when you consider the price for all the other devices that are on the market right now. There's a bunch of these lights, but this one stands out a little bit. It's slightly bigger than most of them, and it packs a lot of power and a lot of features for the right price. So yes, I absolutely love this light and I definitely recommend it over the Bowling P1 and many other lights that are out there that are pocket lights at this very juncture. And that concludes my review of the Falcon Heist F7 pocket light and all that I think about it and my personal opinion of the light. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see a detailed comparison video between this and the Bowling P1, leave a comment in the comment section below. If I get 10 comments, I'll probably make that video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on another video that was shot by Kagan. Don't forget to subscribe.